Okay, so I filled the panels. I'm gonna scrape them again, but first I need to cut these flush and then we'll get on to making the rabbits. So I'm just gonna use my Japanese crosscut saw. Okay, so I've got a rather large bit with a wheel set up with the fence centered over the wheel right now. Um, so I'll adjust the fence in a minute. And if I zero my height gauge, right now we're at nine mil. Eleven point three. So let's come down some. Yep, just just over ten mil in height, which is what I want. And I want to cut. This will cut twenty mil on its wheel. So uh, I guess twenty mil is my deep cut, and I'll minus five from that, make fifteen mil for the shallow cuts. So I'll lay them out on my board so that I don't screw this up, and then uh, we'll run these through the router. Okay, so if I run my board through here, I believe it's just barely contacting the wheel. So we'll give this a test cut and make sure that this is 20 mil. So we'll just use this piece of three quarter inch timber. Okay, so that's about 19 mil. Which is probably as deep as I'm gonna get. And about nine and a half, 10 mil. So perfect, or as perfect as I am going to get. Okay, perhaps it's a bit hard to see, but I've marked the cuts on each board. Uh, this is the deep cut, which is what I'm doing now. This is a deep cut. and then we'll readjust to do these shallow cuts. Okay, so I got the first board deep cut, ready to cut. I'm also gonna follow it with this board on the end to help reduce tear out on the far side, just in case. So uh, put on some safety glasses and then we'll kick off with this. Okay, to set up for the shallow cut, I'm just going to move the fence in 5 mil and then do a quick test cut. Okay, so all the grooves are cut. This is the bottom or the top board. As you can see, there's about a 5 mil gap there, so that's good. Um, That will allow me to plane. So this would be the outside bottom. This would be the middle board. If I trim this five mil here and a little bit of a five mil there and then round over the edge, there'll be that slight bead, but also these will butt up tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the grooves with a hand plane and some chisels, clean it up. After that, we'll scrape it, move on to staining. Then I'm gonna coat them in epoxy before they get their final coat of varnish. Also, the bottom and the top boards will get trimmed. The middle board here will stay full width and it will get a hole drilled in it before we do the finishing to accept a brass vent on the outside, a hit and miss closable vent on the inside. I have the hit and miss vent here, but I don't have the external vent. It's, uh, it's still on order and on its way. Okay, so I've placed my boards together. I've basically drawn this blacked out area is where I'm going to plane off. So I'll draw some lines about five mil across on the inside and outside here. I'll just use my block plane to remove the material and uh, then we'll keep going to fit it together because what we want to do is close up this gap here. And then I'll just round over the edge so it's got kind of a beaded thing.
So basically I've rounded all the edges of the panels and uh, I'm gonna sand them with the sander to 80 grit before I stain because I am going to coat them in West Epoxy. Um, also, bottom panel is gonna get cut off, top panel is gonna cut off, middle panel will be full width. Top panel is going to have a, a bronze or a brass locking and hasp hooked to the companion way. Uh, the middle one will have a vent and the bottom one will just be wood. Okay, so I've laid out the boards. I'll make a mark on the bottom and I'm gonna add about a quarter inch to it. So obviously I have to refinish later. Same with the top mark and then add, not quite that much, but about a quarter inch. And uh, we'll cut them off so we can continue on with the sanding and finishing. 